Hi everybody. Welcome to Deborah's Journey. This is Deborah. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to be unstuffing my 100 envelope challenge. I have been working on this challenge since January and it is now September. I finished it in August and the goal is to get this done and start another challenge once I unstuff. This is the best part of stuffing these 100 envelopes is unstuffing. So I know it's boring to just keep stuffing and it takes months and it drags on, but trust me, if you stay consistent, you will have a nice amount to unstuff when you finish. You just have to hold out and keep adding the funds and don't give up. Okay, so there are people who have um, inspired me. And one of the people that I always look up to when it comes to 100 Envelope Challenge is Melissa. Her channel is Budget Stuff Save Repeat. She's doing amazing with hers. Now, I am doing a lower income modified savings challenge. So I wanted to get started with this. So let's get started right away because I have a lot of envelopes to unstuff. And if you like cash stuffing and 100 envelope challenges, if you like get pay off journeys, then you have reached the right channel. Do me a favor, subscribe to my channel and follow me on my journey. Thank you in advance. So I finished my lower income modified 100 envelope challenge. And so now I am going to share how much money I saved. I did add a little bit of extra money in some of these envelopes. So I will have more than the required, I believe it's 1,050 if I unstuff exactly what I stuffed to the number but I went over a little bit. So I'm excited to see how much money I have. So I'm gonna put that there. There's a hundred envelopes in here, you guys. And I'm gonna move the box out of the way. And, oh my, this is a hundred envelopes. And I did this challenge by using envelopes from the dollar store. I also didn't seal the envelopes because I plan on using them again. So I wanted to make sure I kind of took care of them. Okay, so the best way to get started on this is just to get started. So I like to um, play music while I'm unstuffing. So I'm getting ready to play some music and then I will be unstuffing these envelopes. And then I will pause to show you the cash I have in a stack.
OMG, guys. Can I just say for the record, 100 envelopes is a lot. It's a lot. 100 envelopes and stuffing them, it's work. It's a lot of work to stuff them, but it's certainly a lot of work to unstuff. But it's much more rewarding when you unstuff them, <laughs> right? Okay, so I am going to move these envelopes out of the way, and then I'll have space to count my money. I got to get it in order, and then I will count and let you know. Just for those who are new, I don't have any number over 20. My challenge was from 1 through 20. I just did that five times. I repeated that same pattern one through 25 times. And that is how I came up with my 100 envelopes here. All right, so without further ado, let me get this money in order. All right, so I have my money in order. Now comes the fun part. I'm getting ready to count this money and let's see how much money I have.
guys, I have a total of $1,158 saved up in my 100 envelope challenge. This is amazing. I finished the challenge. I filled in all the blanks. I added a few extra dollars here and there. And like I said, if you do this exactly to the dollar, you will still have over $1,000. So I am very, very excited to have saved that much money. And I know you wanna know, what am I gonna do with this money? So I'm going to be putting $300 towards my student loan payment. My personal, which is my self-care binder, is going to get 100. It's September and it's my birthday month. So I wanna have some extra money to enjoy my birthday. I'm going to add $100 to my savings challenges, $100 to Sam's credit card. It's a Sam's Club credit card. My Discover credit card will get $100. I'm adding $100 to start my next 100 envelope savings challenge. I'm going to be investing $100 and 100 is going to my one month ahead challenge and your girl is gonna pay herself $100 just to do whatever I want to do. Now there will be a little money left over, but don't worry, that money will be going into additional savings. I may add that amount to the next 100 envelope challenge just to be safe but i am so happy that i was able to do this although it took longer than i wanted it to take hey it doesn't matter the thing is i finished it i have over 1100 dollars here and i just put money in the envelopes and i kept doing it and i left it alone and that's what you need to do so if you want to start a 100 envelope challenge don't be scared get started. You can do it. Thank you everybody for joining me today. I appreciate all of you. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video.